When determined minds and compassionate hearts work together to solve the most critical health issues of the day, something amazing happens. Inspiration meets innovation. Research creates results. For 50 years, the Johns Hopkins Department of International Health has created real-world public health solutions, giving children everywhere a healthy start and hope for the future. The Department of International Health is an exciting place to work. We have very experienced and multidisciplinary faculty, and we have talented students from all over the world. Johns Hopkins Department of International Health is the oldest and largest program of its kind in the world. Created in 1961, it took shape in the shadow of the Cold War. Reaching out to poor and developing countries was a powerful new diplomatic tool to foster global relations. Carl Taylor was the department's first chair. Carl was a public health visionary, a true giant in the field, and he set the mission for our department. The mission has been to save the lives and improve health of the people around the world, particularly the poor and the most vulnerable. The department's efforts forged a global health agenda with groundbreaking discoveries that drove the child survival revolution of the 1980s. Millions of children were dying from diarrhea, pneumonia, and other illnesses. Early in my career in India, every single day, I saw children dying from diarrhea. We were not able to save those babies because we didn't have enough IV fluids and enough doctors or nurses. But oral rehydration therapy changed everything. At the cost of a few pennies a packet, these children are now surviving. <laughs> the department pioneered life-saving vaccines to combat pneumonia, diarrhea, and meningitis. Today, every child in the United States is protected against these dangerous diseases. We are working towards ensuring that every child in the world has access to these vaccines. For example, the hip vaccine is now available to over 90% of the poorest children in the world. By the late 1990s, the number of childhood deaths had dropped dramatically but the number of newborn deaths remained disturbingly high. Four million children still died in the first weeks of life, and we needed to do something more to address these problems. The department's researchers went to work. They poured their energy into solutions to address complications in pregnancy, difficulties in childbirth, especially home deliveries, and infections and illnesses that threaten infants. One of the major impacts that Johns Hopkins has had on the world's children is asking and answering important questions about what can be done and be done in very low resource settings to save lives. And probably the best example of that is the work that we've done together on community-based newborn health in places such as Bangladesh. In Bangladesh, we conducted studies to demonstrate that health workers can help mothers to deliver babies safely and ensure their survival. In Nepal, our research has showed that using something as simple as antiseptic wipes can prevent dangerous infections. Through these interventions, mortality has been reduced by 30 to even 50 percent in this first month of life. The department also put malnutrition on the global health agenda. Field studies are shaping a simple yet profound solution, using specially trained local health workers to deliver nutritional information and supplements. The results of our research have been astonishing. 
Vitamin A, for example, reduces infant, child, and even maternal mortality. Giving zinc to children dramatically reduces the health consequences of diarrhea. Giving women iron during pregnancy not only reduces risk of anemia, but improves cognition of their children. We are finding new problems and looking for new solutions all the time. It's part of our job. At the department's heart lies an outstanding team of faculty and students who are determined to solve the critical issues of the day. One of our major focuses right now is strengthening health systems in poor and war-torn countries. We're working in particular in Afghanistan, Bangladesh, China, India and Uganda and several neighboring countries in East Africa. I'm getting my PhD in health systems and I chose Hopkins because it's truly a global school. There's nothing that is more attractive to young people than actually seeing the application of many things they learn in the classroom and seeing the improvement in people's health locally and the department has been a champion in that regard. To uncover solutions that work for real people on the ground, we have to go beyond just a simple biomedical approach. We have to work with communities to make sure that they're able to find the solutions that work for them. And that's what I'm learning to do here at Johns Hopkins. Our students are our future. Students come from many countries in the world and they will go back to their countries and to international organizations and be the global leaders of the future. While the challenges may change, the mission remains the same, to improve health around the world and save lives. Our department has accomplished much and, and contributed much in the last 50 years. But eight million children still die each year. Millions are afflicted by AIDS, tuberculosis, malnutrition, and many other conditions. There are new challenges ahead, and we are ready to meet those challenges.